Picking spree. All the fruit is ripening, falling off the trees. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> hey, what a great way to wash my apple. Hey, Chris, can you rinse off my pear? Sure. Thanks, bro. Nothing like teamwork. But you know, I wish we had prehensile tails. Then we could carry all this stuff through the trees without ever having to worry about tripping. Speaking of tails, let's call our long-tailed buddy Zabu. Oh, great idea. Zabuzo! It's Zabu, the leaping lemur. <laughs> Take a look at Zabu's long lemur tail. That tail helps him balance when he's climbing in the trees and leaping around. Lemur tails are amazing tails. And Zabu can even curl his tail. Hey, Zabu, how about a snack? There's a lot of fruit happening here today. All right. Zabu, I got an apple for you. Zabu loves apples. There you go. <laughs> no, not the whole thing. That's too much. <laughs> I cut a piece for you. There you go. Or, oh, you want that big piece? You really love apples, don't you? <coughs> Give me some of the Spinning! I love doing that. Do you like spinning? It's fun. Um, Vuki fruit is great. Mmm, yummy. We better start filling up the snack machine with the fruit Martin and I brought in. So all the animals can have yummy fruit and be Vuki. Vuki, yeah. like me. <laughs> fruit is great, but this is getting ridiculous. It's fruiting season, the time of year when all the ripe fruits fall from the trees. <laughs> and the perfect time for fruit-eating animals to have a feast. Sounds like there are a lot of animals up there because so many animals love fruit. I can't believe my mind. Look at all the fruit-eating creatures. They can help us eat all the fruit, so no fruit goes to waste, and we can all get spooky. <laughs> What's that sound? That sounds like a dog barking. But a dog in a tree? There must be some other creature barking up there. Yeah. The animal I saw, he was barking and, and he was eating fruit and loving it too. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a long tail, a nice face, and a long body too. <laughs> He was looking for fruit to eat. <laughs> and so was I. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a long 
long-tailed fruit-eating creature. Do you know who he is? Okay. Big eyes with little ears that stick out. A long tail that grabs. A long tongue? You know who the mystery animal is? Yeah, a kinkajou. Now he's a mysterious creature. Manga Tika, mystery animal's here. The mystery animal is a kinkajou. What did you say he was? Uh, kinkachu? Gesundheit, it's a kinkajou, not a kinkachu. And this kinkajou loves munching on fruit. Hey, that's great, and then he can help us eat up the good fruit. So you must be the guy who's been dropping all the fruit on her head, huh? Hey, you want a piece of tangerine? Here. <laughs> Isn't it neat the way he stands up when he eats? <laughs> <laughs> got squirted in the face. <laughs> Let's see that again. It's slow motion. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> kinkajou. <laughs> kinkajou, kinkajou. Funny fruit eating kinkajou. <laughs> hey, what are you doing up there, kinkajou? I'm coming up. He likes to eat his fruit sideways. I wonder. Does fruit taste better sideways? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> hey, Sob, now you're both sideways fruit-eating creatures. Well, I'm a creature who likes eating fruit always. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to name the Kinkajou Grapes, because he loves eating grapes. <laughs> grapes, grapes, it's a sweet name. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Cool kikaloo jew tail that moves like your nose. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> wow, what an incredible tail. It's called a prehensile tail. Preen style tail? Prehensile, hmm. Zabu. Prehensile. Prehensile. What's prehensile? Prehensile means grabbing. So hmm. a prehensile tail is a tail that can grab onto things. Oh, like a kinkajou's tail. Exactly. And the prehensile tail is what makes the kinkajou so good at climbing through the trees. Hmm. It's like having a fifth hand. This little guy is called a short-tailed opossum. And he has a prehensile tail, too. There you go, buddy. Chris, get a load of this. I can't believe my mind. Wow, look what he can do. He can eat a banana upside down while he holds on with his tail. A kinkajou scrambles from branch to branch, using his tail as an extra grabber. Here, it's like an anchor. A kinkajou hangs from his tail just like a spider monkey does. That way, they both keep their hands free to grab fruit. Wow, a kinkajou's tail is full of muscle. He's perfectly comfortable just hanging from his tail. And when he wants to get up, he just uses his stomach muscles and his tail to pull himself up, and he's off and climbing. A kinkajou's body is built for climbing in trees. Whoa, look how muscular the kinkajou is. He kind of looks like a cross between a mountain lion and a monkey. But kinkajous are more closely related to kiwanis and raccoons. A raccoon can climb too, but not as well as a kinkajou, because raccoons don't have prehensile tails. Chris, Grapes is climbing over to say hi. <laughs> Have you ever had your hair brushed by Kinkajou claws? <laughs> His claws are really sharp. <laughs> That's why he's a good climber. Grapes, let's climb over to get some fruit. There's still so much to eat. See how Grapes is sniffing all the fruit? <laughs> well, during fruiting season, when there's a lot of fruit around, a Kinkajou can become a pretty picky eater. He eats his favorite stuff and tosses away the rest. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh-oh, if Grapes is gonna be picky, then all this great fruit will go to waste. <laughs> we can't let that happen. I wish there were more Kinkajous to help us eat, but this Kinkajou's all alone. Kinkajous are pretty solitary creatures, Zob. Huh? That means a Kinkajou hangs out mostly by himself. They don't live in groups. But when a tree is fruiting, a kinkajou gets to hang out with whatever animal is in that tree. And sometimes, lots of kinkajous are in the same fruit tree. Chris, you're right. Now there are two kinkajous in the same, um, in the same animal junction. <laughs> Come on, join the fruit feast. Help us clean up all this fruit. Yeah, dig in. 
I think I'll call this kinkadoo Bananas, because she likes bananas. Yeah, Bananas is a good name, Zabu. It's kind of like why I called Grapes, Grapes. Because he likes grapes. <laughs> and Bananas is Bananas for Bananas. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I thought you said kinkajous live alone. Well, they do, Zabu. But remember what we said before? About how during the fruiting season, kinkajous hang out together? Yeah. Well, here you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bananas, do you want to hang out with me? She likes me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bananas makes one kinkajou. And Grapes makes two kinkajous. Huh? Hey, there's kinkajou number three. This is great. Now we have three kinkajous to help eat up all the fruit in Animal Junction. I think I'll call you Vuki, because we'll eat till we're Vuki. The kinkajous are a three-creature fruit-eating machine. I'm feeling kinkajouish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I'm feeling kinkajouish. How about you, kinkajouish? Feeling kinkajouish. Kinkajouish. I'm a fruit loving climber. I'm a kinkajou. Kinkajouish. Feeling kinkajouish. Kinkajouish. I'm a fruit loving climber. I'm a kinkajou. Kinkajouish. <laughs> hey, brothers, look at the meat. The way they're eating, I think we're going to finish all this great fruit and none will go to waste. Oh, yeah. This reminds me of the time Google cleaned up all the fruit in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, leap. Leap, leap, when I met Goobal. Hello, Goobal, I said. Hi, Zabu. How are you doing? Oh, I'm sad because all the Goobal berries are ripe, and if they're not eaten soon, they'll all go to waste. But you're the great Goobal berry gobbler. I am. Ugh. I'm sure you can gobble all the Goobal berries before any go to waste. Oh, okay, Zabu, I'll give it a try. Yeah. <coughs> well, good, but not fast enough. We need help. Here's Narchi. Hi, Zabu. He can help. Huh? Narchi, blow some Goobal berries into Goobal's mouth. Okay, it's a go. Ready, set, blow. <coughs> Hurry, go faster, Narchi. We have a lot of Goobal berries to clean up. That's faster, but that's not fast enough. There are just too many Goobal berries to gobble. Maybe Zabumafuasaurus can help. Oh, sure can, Zabu. Watch this. Oh, she's using her foot. <laughs> Hooray! You smooshed them all. Yeah, you're welcome. Now it's Goobleberry Goo. And Goobal said... Oh, I can slurp Goobleberry Goo really fast. Here goes. Come on, Goobal. Oh, excuse me, being puppy. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Go, Goobal, go. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll come, I'll come. Oh, Vuki. Hooray! You did it, Goobal. You ate all the Goobleberries. Oh, they were yummy, and now I'm sleepy. <laughs> Google? Well, I guess that's the end. <laughs> oh, the kinky juice are booky and sleepy too. But who's gonna eat the fruit? The fruit just keeps on falling. It's raining fruit. Now it's raining right into the snack machine. Uh oh. What if it gets too full? I don't think the snack machine can hold all of that fruit. Oh no, we've got a fruit falling snack machine emergency. Hey guys, look, something's happening. Whoa. Stay away. Bed for cover. I smell mud. Uh, it's, uh, I'm slipping. Ah. <laughs> hey look, an owl monkey. He came to Animal Junction to eat fruit, too. And a Binturon came in for the same thing. More fruit-eating creatures. Maybe there's still hope for a fruit cleanup. Yeah, porcupine. Capybaras. Wallaby. Snow monkey. Elephant. It's a fruit-eating creature party. It's the great fruit cleanup. Wah! Eat, everybody, eat. Way to munch it, popcorn. Good work, Porky. Well, you do, Snowmo. We're getting there. 
Keep on munching. Mm, Buki, but there's one more apple. Hooray, toothbrush. We did it. Fruit eaters ate all the fruit. Animal Junction is all cleaned up. The creatures ate all the fruit. And we're Vuki, so it's nap time. Oh, yeah. I think I'll nap, too. No time for napping, Zabu. Huh? Somebody's coming this way. Who is it? Incoming. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a... Duck! He's not a duck. He's Moonface. The Whoa. barn owl. Owls and hawks use their tails to steer when they're flying. Oh, like that Harris hawk. Who uses her feathers kind of like a brake to land. She fans out her tail feathers, which slows her down. Munga Zika, what does Jackie say? Guess what, guys? Thomas's cat had kittens. Aren't they cute? There are five of them. Look how little they are, even their tails. Thomas's little sister wanted to hold Pushkin. This is Pushkin right here. But she tried to pick him up by the tail. Ouch, I said. Alex, that's a tail, not a handle. You put both hands gently around the tummy to lift up a cat. See? Yeah, that's the way. It's nice to pick up a kitten. And it's nice for a kitten, too. Just as long as you pick them up the right way. Bye, guys. A kitten's tail is not a handle, but sometimes an elephant's tail is. Uh, Martin, you can't pick up an elephant by his tail. <laughs> You're right, Sob. Yeah. No one can pick up an elephant, but a baby elephant holds on to her mom's tail so she doesn't get lost. No way. Way. Wow. It's just like when your mom holds your hand so she knows where you are. Just like an elephant. Tails can do so many amazing things, and I have an idea. Since tails are so incredible, why don't we build our own tail? Yeah, a tail that can do everything. Let's build a super tail. To look for creatures with super tails. To the closet? To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Are you ready? Let's go. They're going on a cool adventure. Got everything? Really? don't know what's in yep, store. think so. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Let's go. They're hightailing it out of here and I think I'll go on a trip too. My very own Zabu trip. You know, Zabu should come on a trip sometime. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, maybe one day he will. Okay, we're off to see some animals with super tails. And we're going to build our own super tails along the way. Hey, let's get started with white-tailed deer. White-tailed deer really know how to use their tails. Yeah, these creatures have super tails. Well, that tail might not look so super now, but when a white-tailed deer senses trouble, she raises her white tail to warn other deer of the danger. Hey, Chris, they're speaking their language. They're taking off. They're in a hurry, too. I don't think it was me. I think it was her. A cougar. That's why the deer are out of here. Well, the deer are gone. But we have a new addition to our super tails. Lock on signal tail. Check. Did you hear that? Yeah, somebody else is close by. A rattlesnake. And listen to that tail rattle. That tail is saying, I'm here, watch out! And you should always give a rattlesnake his space. All right, we have another addition for our super tails! We've got signal tails, warning tails. What's next? How about those big bushy ring tails? Raccoons have striped tails to tell each other they're raccoons. But why are they hightailing it out of here? That's why, an alligator. She has a huge tail that helps her move through the water. Look how her tail powers back and forth. <laughs> Martin, did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds familiar. <laughs> I know that sound. <laughs> it's Sabu! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Sabu! 
<laughs> What's Abba doing out here? Brothers, a creature with the biggest, most mungus secret tail was heading to Animal Junction. You have to see this tail. You won't believe your minds. We're right behind you. Let's go. Hurry. <laughs> Slow down, Zabu. Hurry. A lemur uses his tail to balance when he's leaping through the trees. Let's leap like lemurs. We're with you, Zabu. Come on, Chris. Come on, Martin. Hurry up. <laughs> what could all that squawking be? Let's go see. Here he is, over here, over here. A peacock. Yeah, peacock. Wow, that's the biggest tail I've ever seen. Super tail bird, peacock. Yeah. You're right, Zabu, he is. And get this, a peacock drags his tail along behind him until a peahen comes around. Then look out, he fans his feathers out to make the largest bird tail in the world. But I don't see any peahens here in Animal Junction, so this peacock probably won't be fanning out those amazing tail feathers. Besides his amazing tail feathers, a peacock also has really neat feathers on the top of his head. Whoa! Ah! Ah, what a super honker! Ah! Quack, 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 quack. Wow, I bet peacocks fly really well with those kind of feathers. Actually, Zob, hmm? peacocks aren't the greatest flyers. Hmm. Peacocks just fly in short bursts. Peacocks like to fly up to high places so they can have a look around. You can really see a lot from up here. Take a look at these beautiful tail feathers. Purple, blue, orange, yellow. Chris, Martin, I think Peacock sees something. Yes, a peahen. Maybe the peacock will fan out his tail and strut his stuff for her. Whoa! He's got her attention. <laughs> it looks like he's dancing. You got it, Zob. He's doing the peacock strut. Let's all strut like a peacock. You can do it. so great, it reminds me of a tail in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into Wiggy Waxwing. Oh, oh, Sabu, Sabu, we need help, 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 help. Log and Joe stuck in a branch again. Wh again. Wiggy? Again, stuck in a branch again. Oh, get me help. down from here. Help, help, I need to get down. Hmm, maybe somebody with a super tail can use it to help him down. Oh, I know someone, I know, I know. Oh, Oh, Kubo, 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 yeah, can, what? Can, can, can oh? you help? Can you oh? help, Kubo? Oh, yeah, I'll help, I'll help. But help with what, huh? Nogandril oh. needs a tail to help him down. Oh, no, no, oh. I, get me down, help, get me down. Oh, geez, Abu, I love the help, but I don't have a tail. Well, maybe I could help with my great big belly. <laughs> no, 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 belly won't work. We need a super tail. Oh, oh. Hi, Wiggy, what's the matter? Nogandril huh? needs help, help, he needs oh. help, help. I've got just the tail for the job. Here you go, so Zalumafulasaurus oh, put her big tail up and helped Nogandril get out of the tree. We were all so excited, we went for a Zabumafuasaurus ride while Wiggy flew ahead. We laughed for the rest of the day. <laughs> the end. Zabumafuasaurus's tail was almost as good as the peacock's. Wow, look at all those eyes. Oh, they're all staring at me. Whoa. Those eyes are making me dizzy. 
That's what happens to the peahen. She falls under his spell. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his spiny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal a friend today. Yeah! Hi, guys. I gotta get my tail on home. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Zav. See you later, buddy. <laughs> See you later. Let's go. I'm Katrina, this is Topaz.